Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through an example of how to find what percent one number is of another number. Let's jump into our example where we have 17 is what percent of 20. We're going to divide and then multiply here. One way I like to set these up and think through these is to go from a fraction to a decimal to a percent. Now for 17 is what percent of 20, let's think of this as 17 out of 20. We can even think of this like a score on a quiz. We got 17 questions out of 20 correct. So what percent is that? So to set this up as a fraction, we have 17 over 20. We have the part 17 over the whole amount, 20. So the part over the whole when we set this up as a fraction, the part out of the whole amount. To relate this to thinking about this like a quiz, 17 is the part of the quiz that we got correct out of the whole amount, the total amount of 20. And now we divide. Remember, fractions are a way to represent division. We divide the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. That's going to give us a decimal here. We're going from a fraction to a decimal. So we need to do 17 divided by 20. Let's do this division off to the side by hand. So 17 divided by 20. So let's start with 17 divided by 20. How many whole groups of 20 in 17? How many 20s in 17? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. Once we have the decimal and the zero, we bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And I'm also going to extend the division bar here. Now we can think of this as 170 divided by 20. So how many groups of 20 in 170? How many 20s in 170? Well, eight, that gets us to 160. So we need to put the eight above the zero here since we used that zero and thought of this as 170. That will line us up correctly. Now multiply, eight times 20 is 160. Subtract 170 minus 160 is 10. We don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we need to continue on. We need another zero that we can bring down and continue on. Now we have 100 and we divide. We have 100 divided by 20. That equals five. Now we multiply. Five times 20 is 100. Subtract 100 minus 100 is zero. So now we have that clean cut zero there at the bottom. We went all the way over within our division problem, so we are done. 17 divided by 20 equals 0 0.85, 85 hundredths. So 17 over 20 or 17 divided by 20 equals 85 hundredths. Now we need to convert that decimal to a percent by multiplying it by 100. And a quick way to do that is to move the decimal twice to the right. So once, twice to the right. That gives us 85, 85%. So 17 is 85% of 20. So there you have it. There's how to find what percent one number is of another number. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.